All right, so we're in our 2009 Holden Colorado um, and we've got a problem with the resistor uh, for our heater fan or our cooling fan, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to attempt to fix it. Uh, as we can see, one, two and three doesn't work. Four goes flat out. So that means we've got a problem with the resistor. I'll just turn the ignition back off. Okay, so to find the resistor, and we're going to attempt to repair it rather than replace it. Um, I've taken the glove box out and with this model, and they're going to be pretty much in the same spot. And this is going to be hard for me to film right up under here. Pull our mat back. A bit you see this um, orange or grey plug here brown plug and that's plugged into the resistor and that resistor's got two screws one here and one up the back and um, so we just unplug the plug under these two screws and the resistor will slide out so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll have a look at the resistor and see if we can fix it um, rather than buying a new one Okay, so we've got our resistor board out and um, it has three printed resistors on there and uh, they will just be a resistive conductive material of course and the longer the length the more the resistance. So um, the way this works and it works a bit odd on speed one um, only resistor one is connected to complete the circuit. So we know on speed four, the faster speed, um, it bypasses this resistor pack and the battery voltage is just dropped across the fan motor, making it go fastest. On the slower speed, um, it goes through just one resistor and I've just put some values in here. Don't know if they're right or not, I didn't measure them, but it lets you know what's going on. So on speed one, your input goes through one resistor back out to the fan motor. Um, and I've marked this as five ohms. On speed two, uh, which is your second slowest one, it goes through this resistor here, five ohms, plus the third resistor. Uh, which I've marked as 15 ohms. So that might drop this resistance down to say 4 ohms um, and your fan will go a bit faster. On speed 3, um, the power goes through resistor 1 and then resistor 2, which I've marked down as 10 ohms, which might drop, once you add 10 onto 5, you might end up with 2 2.5 ohms. I haven't done the calculations, this is just to show you how it works. Now it turns out that on R1 we have this fusible link and um, moisture has got to it and made it all rotten. So I'm guessing that is the problem because if we remove our lowest value resistor and we try and drive it through either R2 or R3 the resistance value is too high to get enough current flowing through the fan motor to make it spin, although these resistors will still, go, still get hot. So, like I said, it's a bit odd. It's not just switching from one resistor to another. Um, it's adding a different resistor to the primary resistor in order to lower the resistance to a certain value. And the lower the resistance, the faster the fan motor spins because the more current it gets. So um, we've just got our multimeter set up here on the buzzer. And if I go into the input side, we can see that resistor is OK. That resistor there is not. And that resistor is OK. So it's the middle pin here that is uh, not conducting and that middle track 
is in fact the widest track which is the one that goes through this fusible link here which has gone rotten due to moisture. So what we're going to do now, um, I'll give you a closer look at that. You can see it's not looking all too happy. So um, what we're going to do now is I'll just get some clean um, methylated spirits or something, clean this board up and I'm going to scrape, scrape the coating of this resistor track that this fusible link is on um, then we'll just run a bead of solder across it and see if that sorts it out. Okay so I scraped that fusible link off, it just come up in crumbs, bits and pieces and I've scraped back to the shiny bit on the track and if we get our multimeter now put it on that pin this is very hard to do one handed we see oh. you can see it's no problem there but here it's dead so what we're going to do now, just got some um, copper electrical wire here that I stripped out of um, some mains cable and I'm just going to solder that across there, trim off the excess um, and then hopefully this will work again and we'll chuck it back in the car and give it a test. So I'll go ahead, solder this up, come back have a quick look at that then we'll go and reinstall it. Okay so we've soldered that up um, and what I'm also going to do is give it a good dob of the acrylic or enamel paint stop the moisture getting to it again if we take our multimeter once again and try and get on to the input pin that one works that one works that one works so we should be in business, so I'll go and give that a dob of paint, fit it back into the car, see what happens. Okay, so what I've done, I've just left the resistor out. Um, as you can see there, I've just chucked some white paint on it to protect that a bit. Uh, we're going to give it a test run. That is number one. Number two, number three, and number four. So we have successfully fixed our um, fan resistor, and no need to buy a new one. Paint is still running, as you can see there. So um, I'll hold that up before it goes on the floor. So yeah, that's how you repair them. So we saved ourselves $86, and if I wasn't making the video, it was probably a 20 minute job. So um, that's how it's done. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this is helpful to some of you out there. And uh, we'll see you again.